All right, guys, I've got some wild card exotics right here that I wanted to talk about. Essentially, what wild card exotics even means. These are exotics that could potentially be disgusting in the next sandbox. Now, when I say potentially, uh, I would like to mention that it's very likely. Now, about one or two of these is a pretty good stretch, but since we've got some confirmations from the TWAB yesterday, it's safe to assume a lot of these are going to be absolutely disgusting. So without further ado, let's get started. First on this list, Celestial Nighthawk. Now let's talk about its exotic perk real quick, Hawkeye Hack. It's a modified golden gun to fire a single high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot also explode. Now the theory, we see that update 2.0 will allow Celestial to grant 33% of its super energy back if the target is killed by the golden gun shot. So a question I was asked yesterday is, is it possible to have your entire super come back completely if you kill three enemies. Now this isn't exactly impossible since the, the targets themselves actually explode when they die from the golden gun shot. Matter of fact, if you see here, you see multiple orbs dropping. So yeah, I, we're speculating that it is possible that you'll be able to pop your golden gun, kill a, a group of enemies with it, and, and could possibly have your golden gun shot back immediately. Next on the wild card list, the Dragon's Shadow. This is an exotic chess piece for the Hunter class as well. It has the exotic perk Wraith Metal Mail. It reads, dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. As you saw yesterday from the TWAM update 2.0, Marksman Dodge is now considered a reload. It can now interact with things like Kill Clip and Rat King, etc. So the theory, could Gambler's Dodge activate Kill Clip Rat King while wearing Dragon Shadow? Now for my non-Hunter mains, there's two different uh, class abilities for the Hunter. There's Gambler's Dodge and then there's Marksman Dodge. Marksman Dodge is the top dodge that allows you to reload your weapon when dodging. For the longest time, it has not been able to activate Kill Clip. We even did a video, uh, I'd say about nine, 10 months ago, where we went over things that could activate Kill Clip. Turns out Bottom Tree Striker was the only thing that could activate Kill Clip. And now Marksman Dodge will be able to do the exact same thing, and it's really gonna be nasty with perks like Desperado on Redrix. But the question is, could Gambler's Dodge, which is the bottom class ability perk, for the hunter, could that activate Kill Clip Desperado when wearing Dragon Shadow? It's a very good question. If it can, that's gonna be extremely disgusting. I would love if it did. Next on the list, Mask of the Quiet One. Oh my God, we are, we're gonna be reaching on this one, boys. And not really reaching, because who knows? It might very well work. Now the exotic perk for Mask of the Quiet One, guys, this is, by the way, a Titan exotic helmet. It's actually going to be receiving a nice buff next week with update 2.0. But it comes with the exotic perk Dreaded Visage. Grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damaged. Now, it mentions void ability kills grant health regeneration. Now, the buff is actually going to be receiving, guys, is it's going to get increased energy gain from incoming damage. But the big one, while critically wounded, health will be granted from kills. I just want to throw that in there because Mask of the Quiet One is going to be a disgusting exotic for us, even without these theories being true. But let's put our tinfoil hats on for this one. Will kills from allies shooting through the Sentinel's Wall of Light count as void ability kills and activate Dreaded Visage, thus healing the Sentinel. Also, will control demolition from Code of the Commanders stack with the new buff Magnetic Grenade? Now, I hope I'm not losing you. There's two theories here. Let's, let's just address the first one. So here we have two theories. Game Informer posted gameplay of Code of the Commander where the Guardian is blocking incoming damage while allies are shooting enemies. Enemies are dying, but you can see this void effect that occurs upon death. If this is considered void ability kills, then you can be a walking tank for your team when wearing Mask of the Quiet One. And again, allies firing through that barrier, through that wall of light, extends the banner shield's duration. Reinhardt confirmed, boys. The second theory, though, is surrounding the buff coming to magnetic grenades. It's not really tied to the exotic itself, but we have to question it. So magnetic grenades are getting a buff in update 2.0. Now, we always knew magnetic grenades can detonate twice, but now it'll only detonate twice if it's attached to a target. The second detonation, though, will no longer only occur on the grenade itself, 
but will now be applied to each individual target hit by the initial detonation. So when we consider the perk control demolition, which is a new perk on the code of the commander tree, all void ability damage attaches a void detonator to the target, dealing damage to a target with a detonator attached causes it to explode after a certain threshold, creating a chain reaction that attaches detonators to surrounding enemies. So our theory is the initial and second blast from magnetic grenades will place a void detonator on targets due to controlled demolition. What we hope for here is double the amount of detonators to be attached to enemies, thus creating more chain reactions and damage. You gotta understand guys, the more chain reactions you can get here, the more detonators you will activate the perk resupply on your Sentinel, which essentially allows the Sentinel player and their allies to regain some grenade energy and health when detonators explode around them. Now again, Mask of the Quiet one is not even needed for that, but again, it would just spice it up even more. As incoming damage, you receive even more energy for all of your abilities. Next on the list, Ophidia Spaith. I hope I'm saying that right. This is an exotic chess piece for the Hunter class. I know it seems like we are really stuck on the hunters here, but it comes with the exotic perk Scissor Fingers, which grants two knives per charge. Now the theory, could this stack with way of a thousand cuts? Could we get another blade barrage? Very unlikely guys. We know Aphidius Bath offers that extra melee charge, but the super itself won't benefit from it. What will benefit from it though, guys, is its neutral game and heavily. See the perk knife trick, playing with fire and burning edge will all synergize, making this exotic a nasty choice. Let's talk about these perks real quick. Knife trick, the gunslinger's melee ability throws out a fan of knives instead of just a single blade. This spread shot will also light enemies on fire, but then we're gonna move on with playing with fire. Killing enemies who are on fire steadily recharges the hunter's melee ability, okay? So we're getting back our melee even faster. And then the third and final perk, the burning edge. When enemies burn, it causes the dodge ability to recharge. In this situation, you can just be rocking something like Gambler's Dodge. So you've got two knives per charge, as well as Gambler's Dodge to get your melee back. And you've got perks here that are all synergizing for you to get your melee and dodge back even faster. It's not really a theory, we just know this is gonna synergize really well. The theory that was proposed to me on one of my YouTube comments asking if this exotic could possibly give you an extra blade barrage, that would be absolutely sexy and I wish it could. Uh, but no, it, it most likely will not. Next, and this one is a bit of a stretch because I, I don't think Bungie would allow this, but it all depends on update 2.0 and how much sticky grenades can actually hit. Ashen Wake, this is exotic gauntlets for the Titan class. It has the exotic perk on it, bring the heat. Fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Now, what they don't mention is fusion grenades actually do a little more damage than what they do base-wise, which leads us to the theory, will fusion grenades possibly one-shot kill low resilience guardians in update 2.0. So we know that the base damage is increasing for all sticky grenades, but Ash and Wake already buffs fusions with the Bring the Heat perk. So depending on the base damage buff, we could possibly see some one stick kills with fusions on Sunbreak. I don't think Bungie would allow that though. They've made it very clear they don't want abilities to one shot. So for this to, to actually slip by them, I'd be very surprised. And if it does slip by them, I, I think it would be nerfed very quickly. Okay, the final exotic on the list. And again, guys, if I don't have your favorite exotic, if you've thought of a theory, please feel free, let us know in the comments. I'm open for all of these. These, I, I, I get really excited about these kind of videos. But Worm God Caress, this is exotic gauntlets for the Titan. It makes me theorize because I, I don't know if this could be a nasty combination or not, uh, but it comes with the exotic perk Burning Fist. Now, Worm God Caress is not an exotic I think many of us use. I don't use it a lot on my Titan, but the exotic perk Burning Fist melee kills increase melee damage for a period of time. Additional kills extend the duration and increase the effects. Now, it, it boosts that melee pretty good. The problem with it is you have to constantly be closing the gap in situations to take advantage of Worm God Caress, and that's the unfortunate part as the timer there, whenever the perk is actually in full throttle, does not last long. So the theory, will our throwing hammer melee stack with burning fists, allowing for the perk Roaring Flames to activate 
with each hammer throw kill. So as you know, the new subclass for Sunbreaker, we're gonna actually get a hammer that we can throw. Now in this subclass tree, we're also gonna have a perk called Roaring Flames. And it states each solar damage kill adds a buff stacking up to three times. So the theory, is it possible that Burning Fists could stack with Roaring Flames allowing your throwing hammer to do some crazy damage. Also, picking up your throwing hammer just resets your melee ability and recharges health. So there's a lot there that synergizes really well, but the main thing is, will Burning Fist synergize with Roaring Flames? You could possibly see some mega amounts of damage, and since the melee itself will refresh immediately after picking up your hammer, you can consistently just keep throwing your hammer into enemies. So guys, those are my wild card exotics. I've been wanting to make this for, for a while and I'm, I'm sure whenever the sandbox update actually drops for us, we're gonna actually be able to go in there and play with these exotics and see if any of these are, are actually true or not. Now going forward into the next week, you know that collections are actually gonna be shut down from the 28th to the 4th. If there is an exotic you wanna play with in the new sandbox, I would highly advise going to your collections, buying it, putting it in your vault, as collections will be unavailable. So make sure you have whatever it is that you want on you before the 28th. Guys, before I let you go, we are doing a Forsaken giveaway. This will be pulled on the 30th of this month. You've got six days to get in on that. We're giving away four copies of Forsaken. This is just the standard edition, but uh, this is a, a great opportunity for those that don't have the funds to jump on this giveaway. Feel free to, to get on it right now, man. But fellas, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs> <laughs>